What are inhaled corticosteroids? Inhaled corticosteroids are a type of medication that is often used to treat patients with asthma and COPD. Glucocorticoids are lipid-soluble drugs that provide anti-inflammatory effects on the airways. They are considered to be maintenance or controller medications because they work by decreasing inflammation seen in obstructive diseases. With that said, they are not to be used during an acute attack or exacerbation because they do not provide immediate relief. Here are some examples of inhaled corticosteroids. I'll just say the brand name because they're much easier to pronounce. You have Pomacort, Qvar, Flovent, Alvesco, Aerospan, Arnuity Ellipta, and Asmonex. Keep in mind that other inhaled corticosteroids may exist. These are just a few of the most common examples. Also, we'll be breaking down each one individually in separate videos, so definitely be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. But the side effects of inhaled corticosteroids include cough, sore throat, difficulty speaking, bronchoconstriction, and an oral fungal infection that is known as oral thrush. Keep in mind that other side effects may occur and they will vary from patient to patient. These are just a few of the most common examples. And one important tidbit to remember about administering inhaled corticosteroids is that the patient should rinse out their mouth after use. Which leads to the question, why is mouth rinsing so important? As we just mentioned, oral thrush is a fungal infection that can occur in the mouth after an inhaled corticosteroid has been given. Thankfully, it can be avoided simply by rinsing out the mouth with water after use. So with that said, as a respiratory therapist, it's important to instruct your patient to always rinse out their mouth after using an inhaled corticosteroid medication in order to prevent oral thrush. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. Just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. And if you want to dive deeper and learn more about this topic, you can go to respiratorytherapyzone.com where we have a ton of free study guides, practice questions, and other helpful resources. I'll drop links to everything you need right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.